Off today, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in or streaming KUM News Extra. I'm Jason Salas, and joining me on the KUM couch right off the top of the show, we have two outstanding real estate professionals. You have, of course, Bobby Satchdev, a very good friend of ours, the president of the Guam Association of Realtors. Bob, very good to see you, man. Thank you, Jason. As thank always. Okay, I tell him this every single time. Thank you, thank you, thank you a million times over for having those wonderful bus stops installed down <laughs> in Tuvalu. You're welcome. Those You're things welcome. are amazing. Yeah, that's What's good for Guam is good for all of us. You have earned your place in heaven by just by doing that. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll back you on that one. Thank you. And joining us by way of the Bay Area, Don Fott. Right. Uh, let's see. You're... Your resume is a mile long and everything like that, but uh, you are going to be the um, guest speaker at the next GAR event. Um, I will be, yeah, certainly, tomorrow. Certainly to pass along knowledge, pass along experience and mm -hmm. wisdom, but uh, what in your time on Guam so far have you been able to glean about the real estate market here and the profession of being a realtor? Well, first off, um, very, um, very gracious people. I love being here. This has been a really great opportunity, but as far as the market goes, uh, love the area. Your market, uh, Bobby, has uh, kept me informed. About 40% in increase in your property values, which is really good for all of us. Mm -hmm. It is a very rich place. Also, yeah. because of uh, you know Bobby and his colleagues do a very good job at actually making sure that the industry there are a litany of job opportunities mm -hmm. for people looking in, look to get into the business, basically Absolutely. to make people happy. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thematically, what will you be touching on when you address fellow realtors? So tomorrow, uh, primarily, we'll be talking about uh, doing a, an update for the National Association of Realtors. Uh, we have some uh, litigation having to, that we're going to be talking about in a trust suit. I'm going to be uh, touching on an update. Uh, we'll be talking about market trends, uh, what's going on affecting the entire nation, uh, uh, 54 territories and states, and just, uh, gosh, what else am I going to talk about? Uh, lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting. I'd, I'd like both of your gentlemen's yeah. opinion on this because I've heard before um, that the real estate concerns of the San Francisco Bay Area mm -hmm. and Guam mm -hmm. kind of parallel each other. You know, we don't have, you know, so. we, these millennials moving in and, you know, mm -hmm. occupying these what were before maybe like a studio apartment. Mm -hmm. And they happen to work at Twitter and now they mm -hmm. pay, you know, 5400 a month. Right. But, uh, Bobby, what, what are your thoughts on, you know, the richness of the Guam market, you know, the opportunity to develop property and, you know, the way that we can commercialize that property. Well, on Guam itself and the, most of the nation, uh, it's always uh, with the real estate market and any market in general, but it's supply versus demand. Uh, we do have a lush a l amount of property here on Guam, but we do not necessarily have all the infrastructure ready to go in all these places. And until that happens, we're going to be constantly fighting that supply versus demand. And our, obviously, you can tell with this buildup happening and the people moving out here, contractors coming in. And in some cases, the lack of job opportunities in the states are educated ca college folks that are coming back. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, having a, they're having a hard time to kind of uh, make, make do out there. So they're coming back out here and bringing their expertise, their knowledge, their, their know-hows and what they want and what they like. So it's... it's there's a litany of jobs opportunity out there, not just as a realtor, but as people that are associated within this industry. And there's tons of tough stuff to do, and it's mm -hmm. it's all good. All those all those opportunities, maybe for every opportunity you have being a real estate professional on Guam, there's an equal number of challenges. Well, I think there's three or four. Oh, not there you go. Yeah, there's three or four <laughs> challenges. Living on Guam, it's it's uh, we've been we have to be versatile. We have to we get hit with typhoons, with taxes, with H two B issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we know how to handle it. Okay, so um, Don, for those of us who live on Guam and you know who work here in various industries, mm -hmm. Guam is literally the center of the universe. I mean, we yes. love it here. We want to make sure it's the best it can be. So, from your perspective, from the National Association of Realtors, you're bringing down like a wider perspective, I would dare say. Yeah, so it, kind of showing the comparison of what's going on here in Guam as well as what's going on in, in the mainland. We have housing affordability issues, um, low inventory, which leads to affordability issues. And so it's, it's, it's nationwide. We uh, Regulations, taxation, it's all affecting. Mm. Um, I'm a big tech guy. I, uh -huh. I believe in the, yeah. the, the effects the dangers of technology too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's, it's what keeps me motivated to work in this uh -huh. industry. But I would say in real estate, there's always been this big influx of technology. Now you can mm -hmm. get, you know, 360 degree virtual reality tours of a property. You don't even have to be there. Right, right. You can buy, you can buy a piece of property right. months before you even show up. How do we make sure that realtors, the actual humans, are still a worthwhile commodity? Great question. And I, I, can't, I can't just, you know, buy, you know, get my, get my bank loan, get my, preview my property and actually secure all the right. paperwork and everything like that from a robot. Well, so real estate, the whole transaction is actually very complicated and technology is really terrific for managing a transaction, but it's not great for facilitating 
for, for actually, you need hand-holding. People are really confused and, and they want to know that, they want to trust, they want a confidence that you know what you're doing to help them go, navigate through the complicated process. So technology, is unfortunately, has taken away the human touch. And, and so that's an, an area that we're really working on. Okay, well, Bobby, we'll give you, Mr. President, the uh, final word. Um, from the Guam professional standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, what questions tend to bubble up that you would ask of people with experience in, and expertise like Don? Well, w first of all, uh, obviously the trends of the market and stuff like that, but ultimately, what brought him to his position? Him as a leader, I mean, he gave a great talk today about being a leader within our community and how it takes what it takes to be a volunteer. And it starts off by volunteering and starting your day off with gratitude every morning and meeting someone new every day. These are some of the few things that I took away uh, from our talk this afternoon, but being a leader and giving back to the community. And us as realtors, that's what we do. We are part of the community. We're your brothers, we're your sisters, uh, we are your friends, and ultimately we are members of this community. And, mm -hmm. and that's something that uh, Don was able to touch upon this afternoon, and I'm Hopefully, he will be able to do that tomorrow. tomorrow. Well, That's Don, we, plan. <laughs> well, we have always been uh, privileged and honored to be part of the GAR festivities. They, they've had us there. We've live streamed several Great. of our events and everything like that. And we greatly look forward to Thanks. covering you tomorrow. Thank you. Best nice of luck you. and enjoy your stay here. Half a day. Thank you. Half a day. All Thank right, you. Bob. Always a pleasure. Man. Appreciate it. Thank All right. You. And please stay tuned because we are back right after this. A beautiful, healthy smile is an expression of confidence. The more confident you are about your smile,